I think given the fact that the deep learning algorithm has become more and more mature, right, there's a lot of effort driving this application toward specifically in, in the context of today, healthcare. And then from the technology perspective, we see already see a lot of use cases based on computer vision. And now we'll see more and more development in the natural language processing and also uh, speech tag recognition. So from that technology perspective, we, we definitely see more application in that field. From a diagnostic perspective, we see people starting from early diagnostics now moving into pathology screening and maybe clinical sort of decision support decision making support system so it's going deeply into the clinical decision uh, scenario more and more I think people starting by using public available data to train their algorithm. But when it comes to real application, you know, going to the hospital, we actually need uh, a, a more sort of uh, on the ground data, having say so, it's like the, the data availability becomes one of the bottleneck to improve our algorithm. So I think that's one of the challenge. The second challenge being that you know the cur current AI products are not uh, fully integrated into the current uh, clinical process, and you know to an extreme that physician might be able to complete ex uh, the the end to end process without having to use AI products, and that can create uh, a, a gap, you know, in how we envision AI to, to to be deployed in hospital and how the real case is. So I think that's the two sort of major disconnect here. I think it's, 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 it's very critical because a, 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 a standard set or a benchmarking rule allows uh, software companies or developers like us to really understand and then to objectively evaluate how good the algorithm is. And from there, we can continue to improve that with a quantitative measurement. And then also, that allows people you know, around, uh, around the world to work together toward one goal. So I think that is critically important. My first impression is that the good weather in Geneva actually coming from Shenzhen is humid and hot. But I do see a lot of people from diverse backgrounds, physicians, you know, AI scientists, policy makers, professors. And I think people are all coming here to drive a very, very important initiative. And I can see a lot of efforts coming from different angles, different perspectives, put it into this, 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 this good uh, workshop. And I definitely will see a great, I feel like we will be able to have a very fruitful discussion you know, in this couple of days. Yeah.